we'd find out soon enough if we'd made the right choices. Because ahead lay a 1,300 mile journey on some of the most dangerous roads in the world. And then up into the brutal high passes of the Himalayas. But first, we had to get to know our cars on the streets of Bombay. <laughs> this is the perfect car for this place. It is a puppy, yes, but it's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. It's a rah, 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 tough little puppy. I forgot the way these things deliver their power. It's such a chunky little engine. Ow! Yeah, speed humps are oh, only you. Man taking his washing machine for a walk. Morning. Whenever we do these long journeys on Top Gear, there's always a sense the moment I set off that the car I've chosen is already on its last legs. But in this, there isn't. All the dials are reading what they should be reading, the engine is smooth, the gear change is smooth, all the electrics work. This is a mobile advertisement for Great Britain. And never mind that Jag today is Indian. Well, gloss over that. 210 horsepower. What Rolls-Royce would have called adequate. It is adequate. More than adequate. That's a buzzer that will sound if it overheats, say, or the hydraulic brakes fail. Let's check with it. You know it works, you see? I love India, I love the dynamism of it all. People are busy. Business, 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 get on, get rich. Jag. Look at that. <laughs> Hammond's Mini. He is a man in love. Um, uh, um, uh... Top Gear and Richard Hammond's Crash Course. Premiere Monday, April 16th, starting at 8 on BBC America.